Hello and welcome to Apple Genealogy. You'll talk about the primary origin of apples, their pedigree, and history. The primary origin of the apple is the Tian Shan Mountains in Central Asia. The primordial form of these apples was Mouse Diversity. It is from this wild species that all apples were domesticated before being moved to Europe through Silk Road. Persia was a major player in the domestication process, however. The primordial strains of apple in this region are derived from crossbreeding between Mouse Diversity and Mouse Orientalis. These strains would pass into Europe and from there intermix with European gravel species such as Mouse Sylvestris and Mouse Bacata and its relatives. It is from the stock that British, North American, and European species cultivars are derived. A, a paper by Dr. Matthew Ordridge utilized DNA SSR markers and specialized genetic software in order to elucidate the pedigree of different apple varieties. And here are the resulting cultivars and the results of that study. As you can see, they're able to confirm or correct the exact pedigree of a great many cultivars. Key features within apple breeding and key players would be Golden Renette and Nolan Pippin. Nolan Pippin was found to be the ancestor of Ashby's Colonel, a famous apple of Finn, Great Britain. This is, a, this is despite the fact that the Nolan Pippin is documented to be old, younger than Ashby's Colonel, although the genetic evidence seems to show otherwise. This indicates that the Nolan Pippin is actually older than its current name, and likely existed prior to Ashby's Colonel under a different name. Golden Renette was also used extensively in breeding different varieties. Golden Renette is an old historic cultivar that's been known since the 17th century. It's speculated that Blenheim Orange and Orleans Renette could both be offspring of Golden Renette. Others suggest that Orleans Renette is actually intermediary between Blenheim Orange and Golden Renette. All of the genetic evidence suggests that both cultivars are in fact siblings. Now onto the final primordial cultivar we'll cover, Cox Orange Pippin. It was initially thought that Cox Orange Pippin was a hybrid between Ripson Pippin and Blenheim Orange. The genetic evidence shows that this is not the case. It 
the actual pedigree of Cox's Orange Pippin is Rosemary Russet, a descendant of non Perel and Margill, one of the ancestors of Ripson Pippin. Now on to the foundation cultivars of North American and, well, modern breeding in general. Since prior to the 1930s in the 20th century, at least one five cultivars were ascended from either Cox Orange Pippin, Golden Delicious, Jonathan Red Delicious, or Macintosh. Indeed, of the many cultivars studied in one research paper, it was found that 64% of the 439 cultivars had at least one of the five foundational cultivars of its pedigree. Macintosh being heavily used in Canada, Golden Delicious being used extensively in Japan, China, Australia, and New Zealand, as well as Western Europe, and to a lesser extent, the United States. Jonathan was mostly used in Western Europe and the United States. Cox Orange Pippin was utilized extensively in the United Kingdom and Europe, where Delicious was used extensively in the Pacific Rim countries and the United States. And over time, the amount of times that these cultivars have been used has only increased in the breeding process. Why, you may ask. It's been found that the color red creates a sense of urgency and making it suitable for clearance sales. It also encourages appetite. Hence why red is frequently used in drive fruits like McDonald's. It was also found that off colors like aberrant colored patterns decrease appetite. Hence the constant search for bright red monochromatic apples which is why the gene pool has been shrunken somewhat over time. <clears throat> this can be found within this paper we see right here, done in Nova Scotia. And this is just a quick explanation on how it works. Multicolored fruit are appealing if there's enough colors within the pattern. If it's, however, a single prominent color, off colors reduce marketability. Now on to the Kazakhstan apple germplasm and their pedigree. Most of the pedigree of Kazakhstani apples are derived from two different cultivars and have two different genetic groups. One genetic group is close related to Golden Delicious, which is incidentally one of the foundation cultivars mentioned before. The other is called Aport. This cultivar makes up the second group in terms of the foundation cultivar pedigree. A port is a close relative of the mouse diversity specimens found in that region. Now we'll cover the foundation stock of the Minnesota breeding program. 
specifically Honeycrisp. We'll be covering Minnesota Breeding Program in greater detail in an all tech exclusive video. But for the time being, you'll talk about the pedigree of the main cultivars. Frostbite is derived from a crossbreed of four different varieties. The first is a Melinda X Duchess of Oldenburg hybrid, which was then crossbred with another hybrid, which is the Duchess of Oldenburg and Uris Large Red. These two hybrids were then crossbred to create Frostbite. Frostbite was then crossbred with Northern Spy to create Keepsake and Sweet 16. Keepsake was then bred for, was bred with MN1627, which is a crossbreed of Dishes of Olenberg and Golden Delicious. MN1627 and Keepsake, when crossbred bred together, created Honeycrisp. One of the most popular apples in North America right now. The primary goal of this breeding program was to breed hardy apples. Melinda is a very cold hardy apple, hence its constant use and its heavy amount of pedigree found in various cultivars in Minnesota. The full details of the breeding program, like I said before, will be covered in an Altec exclusive in the future. Next, we'll cover three apples from the PRI program. The PRI program was a genetics program founded by three different universities, Purdue, Rutgers, and Indiana, in conjunction with the USDA. A great many of the co-op apples are made by crossbreeding Mouth Floribunda, which has a single gene for scab resistance and room beauty. It's from this stock that various cultivars were made by back crossing this hybrid into other common cultivars. <clears throat> room beauty X. Mouse Floribunda was used extensively to breed different varieties. My apologies, there are some technical difficulties. Let's continue. For Co op 38, or as we call it, Priscilla, no, not Priscilla, Gold Rush, was made by crossbreeding the Rome Beauty Mouth Floribunda hybrids together, two si sibling crosses, followed by crossbreeding that with Golden Delicious, followed by crossbreeding that with Melrose, followed by a cross breeding that of experimental cultivar called Illinois Number no. 2, which is a wine sap open pollinated line, and cross breeding that with Golden Delicious again. <clears throat> Priscilla is made by cross breeding Rome Beauty Mouth Floribunda, cross breeding those two seedlings together. Then cross breeding that with Golden Delicious, cross breeding that with Macintosh, and then cross breeding that with Starkane. Gold Rush was the 10th apple cultivar developed in the PRI program. Priscilla was the second apple cultivar 
developed in the PRI program. Bristol was introduced in 1962, and Gold Rush was introduced in 1973. <clears throat> the last cold war in our hit list will be Crimson Crisp. And this is the most complex of the, of the pedigrees, but you can basically get a chance of how it was bred from this pedigree map you see right here. Now onto some speculation. First, you have to talk about Margill. If you recall correctly, Margill does not have a specific origin listed in any of the papers. <clears throat> if you look at the origins of Margill, <clears throat> based on the work by Pomiferous, it was found that it was grown from seeds imported from France. Now, there is some possible cultivars just based on morphology that could pertain and act as possible ancestors to this cultivar. Renette French, Renette de Charms, and Cor Pandu Platte. Corpan du Plat is a very likely option because although it doesn't look it on this image, it does have a very similar color feature to Margill, Cox Orange Pippin, and Ripson Pippin. And these traits seem to pass on reliably to its offspring. Like take for instance, these are both off direct offspring of Cox Orange Pippin. Kids Orange Red is a crossbreed between Red Delicious and Cox Orange Pippin. And this is another hybrid between Cox Orange Pippin and something else. Although I cannot remember the cultivar name off the top of my head. But as you can see, the color seems to be relatively conserved from offspring and to parent and vice versa. This brings us to the lineage of the pear drop flavor profile. Pear drop flavored apples such as ash meets kernel, rosemary russet, and whatnot seem to be derived from non perel because rosemary russet, an apple of similar flavor profile, is derived from the non perel. So it's plausible that Nolan Pippin <clears throat> is derived from non perel. They have similar features in terms of similar russet shape. They also have similar flower color. Ash means kernel, brown leaves russet, rosemary russet, and non seem to have similar features in terms of flower morphology as well. which in also indicates uh, a plausible common ancestor as well. Although this is once again, speculation. <clears throat> we'll conclude by completing the lineage. If we go back a ways, Renette de Carms and Renette de Holland are ancestors of Blenheim Orange, but we already know that Blenheim Orange is derived from Golden Renette. So it's plausible that 
either Renette de Holland, was crossbred something else, plausibly Golden Renette to create Blenheim Orange because it's genetically confirmed. That Golden Renette is an ancestor is the one of the ancestors of Blenheim Orange. Or that Renette de Holland is the ancestor of Golden Renette. These are the two pl plausible explanations on the relationship between Blenheim Orange, Renette de Holland, and Golden Renette. Plus, possibility number one is Renette de Holland crossbred with Golden Renette to create Blenheim Orange, or that somewhere in here is Golden Renette. Um, and I'm in no spot to determine how how it happened. Here's the sources that I used. Thank you for watching.